<laughs> growing up in Cherokee County was weird. I was the only one of my friends growing up who was not a Republican. And let me just say this. Young Republicans are fucking creepy. It feels like an error. Just in the Matrix or something. Like, how do you like Mitt Romney and Gucci Mane? That's such a weird combination of things to enjoy. That's not even a joke. The guy who got me into Gucci Mane's music early registered to vote for Mitt Romney, and I'm very ashamed of that. I feel like that is not how East Atlanta Santa's music was meant to be enjoyed. Just at a reasonable volume in my friend Corey's Altima. He's like, I'm gonna play Lemonade at like a 26. That feels like the right number. We're not getting the subwoofers involved in this track at all. <laughs> I like to smoke weed, you can probably tell. Um, I'm high right now. Um, I wish we would legalize weed. I think that would be nice if we could get that here, right? Did you guys know, did you guys know Mississippi has medical marijuana before we do? What? It's true. You can Google it. They do. Mississippi, the state that still has that, like, New Zealand amount of Confederate flag on their flag still, they got that shit before we did. And that's fucked up. Like, either be high or be racist. You cannot have it both ways, Mississippi. You are not Dimebag Daryl's guitar. Fucking weed and Confederate shit do not go together. That joke's for like three of you, but I don't care. That's for the Pantera fans that are here. All right, cool. There was one guy. It's worth it. It's worth it. You never know who's listening. <laughs> I would settle for dispensaries, too. They don't even have to legalize it all the way. I would settle for dispensaries at this point. Because this, this is the South, and we have plenty of gun shows here. Yeah. I feel like gun shows and dispensaries are pretty much the same thing when you think about it. It's just a sketchy looking place where you tell a guy with a mustache that it'll help your anxiety and then he gives you the thing you're not supposed to have. <laughs> Seems like a pretty easy system that both sides seem to have figured out. I'm just asking for the other half. <laughs> Feels like a fair trade. I had a friend come back from Colorado recently. He brought back some medical marijuana. He was like, dude, you should try this. They use this on cancer patients. It's like the strongest shit they have. And I smoked it, and I proceeded to get more paranoid than I have ever been in my entire life. To the point where I was like, are they giving this to people with cancer? Like, that feels mean. Like, I hope it works, but I don't want them to feel like how I feel right now. The doctor's just like, look, we know you're really worried about the chemo, so here's something that's going to make you think everybody's mad at you. Here you go. They're like, well, I feel better. They're like, you'll feel different. Uh, you will definitely feel different. I've been arrested for weed before. I probably tell. Um, I've been arrested for possession before. And I remember one time when I got in front of the judge, he gave me some options because I was white then, too. And uh, it's, I mean,